We're at the Lodge at Dreaming Tree Ranch in Potsdam, New York. This is a, a pediatric cancer retreat, part of the Help Sammy Kick Cancer Foundation tract of land. The Help Sammy Kick Cancer Foundation is a foundation that we started by helping families financially that have received a pediatric cancer diagnosis. And then it grew into the Lodge at Dreaming Tree Ranch, where we could host families that have a child with cancer for a week to 10 days to just escape. Give them a time away from cancer that they can enjoy the, you know, the beauty that the foothills of the Adirondacks has to offer. But also it gives them the opportunity to see that life can go on after a tragedy like a pediatric cancer diagnosis. The Lodge for us, it does two things. It actually helps to honor our daughter, Sammy, who passed away in 2017 after a, uh, a bout with a glioblastoma, a brain tumor, but also gives us the ability to interact with other families that are going through something similar to what we did. Sammy, well, um, she was, she's a firecracker, and she was not only a spark plug for our family, but for the community as well. She packed into 18 years what it'll take us a lifetime to be able to accomplish. And she and the Lodge and all these families that we're hosting are the reason we get up every day and, and do what we do. So the lodge is 240 acres that is owned by the foundation, but then Karen and I and our family own farmland around this, so we have close to 2,000 acres. It's such a diverse piece of property. We have about 10 miles so far of connecting trails. We use those for side-by-siding, hunting, hiking, uh, cross-country skiing in the winter, snowshoeing. And then I like making little diversions off of the main path, just little destination places. And that way, when we host a family here, if they need some time away, there's some great places to just go and sit and contemplate things and, and, and center, recenter themselves. So that's my favorite. Karen uh, does a lot of the work with me. Um, she loves Bobcat equipment. We have actually rented um, other brands and she made it very clear that Bobcat was what she wanted here. Track loaders, we have an E42 excavator. We use those constantly for driveway maintenance. We've got 1,700 feet of driveway and a large parking area here to maintain. The biggest piece, again, has got to be the track loader, the T66. Um, I drive that back and forth um, almost as much as I do the side-by-side. -side. One of the things that I've come to realize is that having better equipment is not an expense, but actually makes you money and saves time. But the comfort, reliability, and functionality of the Bobcat equipment is second to none, and that's what we've chose to go with. All the families that we've had here so far have very much wanted Karen and I involved in their stay. Uh, we prepare the meals, um, do the cleanup, set up all their activities, make sure that whatever they want to accomplish while they're here gets done. And to be able to bring them in here and just see them relax and see them leave with just a renewed sense of fight is just, it's miraculous is what it is. We share a lot of intimate moments, so I just assure them that, you know, this is not a one and done. You know, we're here whenever you need us along your journey. It's the first time I we were here and I met them. I must have um, just kind of slinked back into the corner and sat by myself, and Karen came over and just sat down, and she and all she said was, I know. And she gives you a hug, and. She said, it sucks. She said, but you don't have to deal with it by yourself. Like, there's people that get it. And that makes a huge difference to realize you're not dealing with that by yourself. I think that Sammy would be very proud of what we've done here. Sammy exemplified outdoors and hard work, and that's exactly what we have tried to duplicate here with the trail system, the hunting and whatnot that we offer. These are things that were all very special to Sammy. 
and she knows that we're helping families, um, that we're carrying on, and that you know, we're able to survive and, uh, and persevere through a great loss. Thank you.